Okay. So, if all works out good, and I get coils down here, um, the next step is to take with this is put another drive coil here on the middle of that and put more coils up here. Because this side of the bar has no clue what's going on over there. So you can switch this flux because the polarity is magnets never going to change. It's being changed in the, in the in the middle of the bar going that way. And if you drive this one with a coil um, and drive the flux around here and back. So just something to think about down the line if you're following this project and you actually um, maybe even mill building one to do the same thing here. Um, you can actually make this thing produce some serious power um, and work both sides at the same time. So just something to consider. Um, and eventually I think I'm probably going to do that with this. With this one. As soon as I get my 18 gauge wire in there. I'll do the same thing with the other core. And go that way. Ferry has an interesting property and the switching rate can be a lot faster than the steel. Um, 80, 100 hertz is tops. You're not even switching the flux anymore at 100 hertz. Um, and 60 is obviously ideal. 50, 60 hertz. Uh, this stuff is obviously I get the flux to move through there a lot quicker. So um, something to think about? Yeah, it's big. Ultimately, you give a little spot welds here. In the corners and lock it all together. Do the same there. And you got some, uh, mounting holes. And you can mount this thing horizontally on the board or piece of acrylic or whatever and you can put your switching circuits on the sides and... okay have fun guys be safe stay away from the COVID <laughs>